his family, and a new Chevrolet. A bright Sunday afternoon. They just naturally go together on a Sunday drive. And everybody knows what a Sunday drive is. Why, it's an American institution as old as, well, as old as automobiles. A good-to-be-alive time. It's a quiet time, a time to be together and alone all at the same time. A time for a young mother to reflect, to escape from the humdrum, the busy routine. But how does a Chevy seem to an active youngster? Well, it's a time of make-believe, with the whole world to set the scene. It's a time to flex his imagination, to meet and conquer the world without even a bruise to show for it as he pulls safely away. While to his sister, a Chevrolet drive is an invitation to a beautiful world, and she's a part of it. A world of magic, all silver and gold, an excursion to Never Neverland, where she is a queen in her luxurious coach among the people who love her and her wonderful dreams. But what about father? What's a Sunday drive to him? More practical, perhaps. Watching how his new Chevrolet stretches out the miles and so little gas. Or maybe enjoying the way Chevy's full coil springs swallow bumps. Or, but maybe not. Chances are he's well aware of the adventurers in the back seat. Of the quiet dreamer beside him. And he's enjoying all their dreams. After all, he's the one that said, Come on, climb in the Chevy. We're off for a Sunday drive. <laughs>